Credit card versus debit card. Which is better and why? Me personally, I choose credit cards. Um, I know a lot of people don't like credit cards, they don't trust credit cards, they think it's the quick way to go in debt. I mean, debt technically is true if you don't properly manage your card. But if you manage your card right, credit card could actually be an amazing tool to help you grow your money. Way better than a debit card, way better. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why, because I want you to understand how you can use credit cards to better yourself and get out of the mindset that credit cards are bad because I truly do not use debit cards. Um, I have two debit cards from my bank's ally and my local bank, and I couldn't even tell you to pin them on cards. They couldn't tell you where they at, <laughs> when the last time I swiped them. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't, need, I don't need my credit card. I just need my Amex, no cap. So in this video, I'm gonna break down why credit cards outshine debit cards tenfold. All right guys, so if you're new to the video, my name's Jesse, we talk about personal finance, money, real estate, and just overall documenting my journey to my first 100K. Because they say making it to your first 100K is the hardest part, and me personally, I can't even count on my hands how many people I know who just have six figures, right? So I figured that's where I would start. So if you want to see how I do it, you're interested in what I got to say, subscribe to the channel and more definitely like this video. But we're talking debit card, credit cards. Like I said, I personally choose credit card over debit card. First and foremost, the reason why is because a lot of debit cards do not give you any type of reward or anything for using them. So not only are you putting your money in a bank and then they're giving you a card to use it, they're not giving you any rewards for holding your money, right? It seems crazy. What is the difference between a debit card and cash? Nothing. But for some reason, people think hey, I need my debit card. A card that literally is nothing. It gives you nothing. But a lot of banks will actually charge you for using the card when all the card is, is technically cash. And I find that to be outrageous, right? Think about it. You get a debit card, which counts as a card that has access to your money that you put in the bank, right? So you got direct deposit into your bank, you have that card. You use that card mm, to use your money, right? But they charge you a fee for it. And y'all don't find nothing wrong with that? I do. You don't get any type of rewards or perks for using that card, right? Now there are some debit cards out there where they're starting to add somewhat rewards, somewhat perks, but they're not that great. They're not that great. They're really not. Now, credit, on the other hand, they give you rewards and incentive for using said credit card. Let's take the Amax Gold, for instance. If you get 4 points times restaurants, gas station, and travel, right? Hmm, well, what do you do with the 4 points? You can use those points on Amazon. Hey, say you want to buy something and you've been using your Amax, right? You can accumulate enough points to buy whatever you're purchasing on Amazon for the free. Or you can use those AMAC points and give you a round trip vacation to whatever your vacation destination is. You can do a lot of things with these AMAC points. But how do you get AMAC points? You get AMAC points by just spending money on your card, right? Now I know what you're thinking. Well, if you use the credit card, you get charged interest. I, 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 I. False. If you pay your card in full, you actually don't get hit with interest, right? And I know what you're thinking. Well, I heard, unfortunately, you heard wrong. Treat your credit card the same way we treat your debit card. Because when you swipe your debit card, your money's gone like that, right? You swipe your credit card, that balance is now an active balance, right? You have to pay on it. But... If you're gonna 
swipe your debit card anyway. Why not swipe your credit card and then just pay the money back in full? You can pay it every two weeks. You can pay it every month. Whatever tickles your fancy. I don't like that. But you pay that money back just as if you would have done with the debit card. Just swipe it, it was already gone. Do the same thing with your credit card and you actually would not even have to pay interest. But you can still reap the benefits of that credit card with all these perks. So when you think of it and you understand that, why are you using debit cards again? It literally makes no sense, right? They're gonna charge you to use your own money that you allow them to hold to make more money with your money, but the credit card company, they take on a liability for whatever purchase you made. Um, oh, well, I need to, I wanna rent out the Airbnb. I wanna hit up the hotel. Oh, we need to hold a, hold a card on file. All right, well, we're gonna hold $1,000 of your money. Hmm. If you put that on a debit card, they're gonna literally take a thousand dollars out your bank account. You do that on a credit card, you get to keep your money, and then the thousand dollar holders on the credit card. And almost seems as though credit card is a thousand times better than a debit card, but people are just scared to use it because they don't trust themselves. You smart. What? You smart. So how can we rectify this situation? How about we get better at our personal financing? How about we get better at budgeting ourselves and manage our money? Because due to you being scared and not properly managing your funds, you're missing out on a whole nother world. A whole nother world, straight of Latin here. You're just excluding so much from yourself by not using credit card because you're either not properly managing your money or you're just overall scared and think you're finna go in debt because you swiped your credit card one time at the gas station, which is literally not the case. Unless you swipe your card at the gas station, just no, choose to never pay them. Then at that point, that's great. The reason I say this is so many people don't have any credit card. And credit card outshine debit card, not just on the money level, but in your actual credit. Hey, maybe in the future you want to buy a house. Maybe in the future you want to get that dream car. How do you get those things? With credit, right? Now, I'm not saying go out and buy a car with your credit card, but what I'm saying is a credit card is an active account on your credit. And if you know anything about credit, one of the highest things that helps your credit is credit utilization, which you get from credit cards and credit age, outside of on-time payments. But credit age, how do you get a high credit age? You have to have an acting, revolving credit. So let's say you have a car note for five years. As that car note grows up to those five years, your credit age grows also. But the second you pay that car off, your credit age is going down because it, it's, it's an average. But let's say you have five credit cards and you hold them for seven years. Your average credit years is by default going to be abnormally high because you have five credit cards at seven year ages. And that's why people say, hey, get credit cards. They can help you increase your credit. Does debit card do that? Hmm, I think not. So we got two points for credit cards and zero for debit cards. So again, why are you using debit cards? So this is a question I have asked people. What makes you uncomfortable by credit cards and how can I help you rectify that situation? What can I do to you know, make it seem at ease so you won't have to worry about, oh well, the world's gonna end if I don't, if I start using credit cards. What, what would I have to say in or do? I'm very curious. Leave it in the comment section. I'm, I'm very curious because I don't understand people using debit cards. Now understand, hey, I can't get approved for credit card, but at the same sense, I've done a video where you, I can, like, I'm just giving you starter cards that you can start building your credit with. You can get those cards, add Netflix on it, do a couple, no, automatic payment for like four to six months, move up the next tier of credit cards. You can start to get those credit cards with higher limits, but you got to at least start to get those higher limits. You're just not gonna say, hey, congratulations, here's a credit card, $10,000. It doesn't work like that. So 
understand the credit game, realize that credit cards are a thousand times better than debit cards, no matter how you look at it, get you a credit card today. Check out my video about no credit card, if not my video, anybody video. Look up, I have, I put some credit cards in the description for you, some starter cards. Um, a referral link to American Express Amex if you wanted to get that or Platinum Card if you want to get that But all this will be in the description. I strongly recommend you start using credit cards debit card serves no purpose But um, that's all I got to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's your boy Exia and I'm out